same places but no problems at all boys were quite well behaved although Harry as always was a little bored what do you think Harry The flight to New York um, was really good because there was these entertainment systems which had movies on them and it kept you busy for the whole flight and then they had lunch, they had a lunch which I think it was chicken and some pota mashed potato. The flight felt like about two or three hours, not six or seven. So we made it, we arrived in New York safe and sound, we've just got to clear through customs and then we'll be off on our way into the heart of the Big Apple. I was really tired because when we got the taxi I fell asleep and then when we got into the hotel room um, I got in bed and then I was watching some basketball on the TV and then I fell asleep straight away right after it. So this is our room in the Warwick Hotel. We've been here about two minutes already. Harry is knackered and jumped into bed. Good lad. So here we are in Times Square. Hi. It's very big. I think it'll be quite spectacular at night. It's going to be really nicely lit up and things. Not quite so impressive during the day, but uh, still quite a place. What do you think, Harry? It's big. At night time, Times Square was so lit up because of all the like adverts, screens, and all that all over the place. It kind of felt like it was daytime. Times Square at night was, I think it was much better than we were at a day because it, all the lights were shining and you could see the buildings more clearly because of the light. There's the Empire State Building. Not perhaps the best viewing day, but they open at one o'clock tomorrow morning. On the boat trip, we went all around Manhattan and we saw Empire State Building and we went under the Brooklyn Bridge and we saw the Statue of Liberty.
next stop is shopping at Macy's. Um, something Aida wants to do, but the boys are quite keen as well, actually, to have a little look around. So here we are, outside Macy's, about to go in and explore. <laughs> It was really busy in the entry, there was like about a few hundred people in there just looking at jewellery. So here we are in Grand Central Station. It is a huge place, quite an impressive building, very clean, uh, very well put together. And we're going to get some tickets and go on the subway. And then we're going to go to the museum where we'll see you next. The subway, some of them weren't really busy, but some of them were really busy. And one of them, we saw two people playing the drums. When we first entered the subway, the first one that came past was really loud and deafening. And I, I hate trains, so I tried to stay as far away from the tracks as possible. Mum. Yeah. We went to the night of the museum and we saw like these animals like from the past and we saw these tribes that have African tribes and stuff like what weapons they had, how they caught, made their traps, and lots of different things. Here we are, in Central Park. Central Park was really fun because there's these big rocky bits which I always jumped on and ran about on. Central Park is massive, amazing, fun and epic. When we were in Central Park once, me and Liam played Tig and we were just having lots of fun climbing on these different rocks. Me and Harry went and there's tons of rocks in Central Park so me and Harry kind of just climbed up on them. We went to watch the Knicks versus Pistons at the Madison Square Garden Stadium. It was ginormous, very busy, and the game was amazing. And they also had like parts in between where you'd watch like shows or dances, and they also like shoot T-shirts at you and you'd try to catch them. Sadly, we didn't get one. We went to the New New York Knicks game against um, the. Detroit Pistons and we had these Cokes and it was really fun and we had New York Knicks popcorn there and we got Nick and a, I got a Nick hat and a Portazingas Nick strip and at the end Nick's won. What do you think of the game? Amazing. That was it. And they won. Fantastic night of family entertainment. That night was probably my favourite night out of all of them in New York because it was a basketball game and I really like basketball. 
So we're just back from the next game. We're in Times Square. We're all very, very tired. So it's time just to get back to our hotel room. So we're at the Intrepid now, big aircraft carrier museum. So we're going to have a wander around, check it out. It's a rainy day, so it's a good day to be inside, I think. Inside the ship was really good because they had this, like, they had this TV which showed you about what happened in the old war and the people who were in it and what happened in the ship when they got bombed, suicide bombed by all these planes and it felt like you were really there at some point because there was smoke coming out the sides. It's not exactly the Starship Enterprise is it? Inside there was a hangar where there was a reusable space shuttle there where we could look but we couldn't go inside. At the end we went on the summer, submarine and it, it was really cool because there was all these little gadget stuff and there were these little beds and toilets and showers and all these control buttons which looked really cool. The Empire State Building observatories are New York City's highest and feature unobstructed 360 degree views. When we got to the lifts, I was pretty scared because I don't really like lifts, especially when they go really high. And you go there. And at the top, it was pretty scary because you could feel the building waving about. And we went outside into the outside view, and there was this big and fence so you didn't fall and the view was really good. Rockefeller and on the Rockefeller it was really good. We went at night as well and the view was amazing. I think it was better than the Empire State Building view because you could see the Empire State Building and all the little buildings underneath the shopping centres and everything. The Empire State Building was lit up and you can see it from there so that was good as well. Going over the Brooklyn Bridge was pretty fun and we, we were walking over and it took about 20 minutes to walk over the bridge and then on the other side of the bridge we found this little park place and we looked over the sea from where we walked over on the Brooklyn Bridge and we saw all this amazing view with like these built big buildings lit up with all their lights on and everything. So we're at the airport now. It's been quite an exhausting day today. Out the museum and things first. On the last day we went to the, an art museum and this art museum was really cool because it showed like paintings of like a house and lakes beside them and it was very detailed. It took us two trains to get here, the underground, the E-line and then the, the air train to the airport. Really nice service actually, all connects well, signposts and stuff. But really, I'm shattered. We haven't even started our flight yet. Aida and the boys are doing a bit of last minute shopping. Uh, and then we'll head down near our boarding gate, get a coffee or something before we get on. In my opinion, the best bit of New York was probably the basketball game. I would do it again because I really like basketball and it was really fun watching the game. 
Uh, it's been a great week, fantastic week in fact. I've really enjoyed being back in New York, um, but it has been absolutely exhausting. What I enjoyed most about New York was probably the food. The pancakes were absolutely amazing. <laughs> I can't feel my stomach. I feel sick. <laughs>